Welcome back YouTube. I haven't been here for a while but I am back now. We are going to talk about setting CMS dynamic background videos using Vimeo Pro and Webflow. Yes, you do need a Vimeo Pro account. That is the only way to make this work. So you have a background video inside Webflow. This is fine for a static site, but if you want your clients to be able to add loads of videos all the time, it's a bit of a pain because they need to go into the designer. They can't do this from the editor because this will not pull dynamically from the CMS. So what we need to do, let's first create a video collection. Let's call it videos. We're gonna have video name and then let's maybe have like a video category. Obviously these fields can be whatever you like. And then you need a plain text field for the Vimeo slug. So this cannot be a link, it cannot be a video, it cannot be anything crazy, it can't be a file, it must be plain text. Let's just create that collection and leave that there for now. Let's have a look over here. So this very clever person, Emil Willemsen, I'm not sure if I've pronounced your name correctly there, so apologies if not. So he's figured out how to do it. Um, we can open the live site, which is here, and we can scroll down a bit and we can see Vimeo, Vimeo hosted CMS background. And what happens when we scroll, when we pull our browser in and out, look, it looks amazing. It's covering, what a legend. So how has he done it? Let's have a look. If we open this inside Webflow, and we're gonna scroll down past the first section is just a static one, so feel free to look at that, but that's easy. So the Vimeo one here, He's got uh, a collection list wrapper, which is pulling from his video posts. Oh, don't need that. And then inside there, he's got an HTML embed, and he's written some code to wrap a video player, basically, and set its position to absolute 100%, 100%, and the CSS property object fit cover. That is what we want. There's no other way to do this. Uh, me and a friend have tried every possible way we could think of and it never worked and this is the one that works and if we have a look at the video source here he's got player.vimeo forward slash external and then the vimeo id so we need to somehow get this external vimeo link which is where a lot of people get stuck so if we come over to vimeo you'll see i've got four videos here these are test files from my client borderland here so this is their work this is their site we're building at the moment which has a cms slider with a background video in it, and that is all set to object fit cover, so no matter what size the screen is, it's always like this. So this is the only way to achieve this. So let's come back into Vimeo. All you do is you click on the video that you have. Remember, must be pro. It gives you access to the advanced settings, and then on the left you have distribution, and inside there you have video file links, and this is the link that you need. So if we copy this link, and I see you'll see I'm copying the standard def link. If you take the high def link, it, the load time is just way too long. Um, and because it's in the background, it's a background video, it doesn't need to be super, super high res, but obviously it's up to you what you go for there. So let's call this first video. Let's give it a category of, let's say film, and paste in our URL. But we're asking just for the slug. So what we actually need, if you remember, we looked inside the embed and it has this code already written in. So we remove everything after the, before that number there. So external forward slash, you delete all of that. So it starts with this number and it has to end in the profile ID. This is the link that you're looking for. So let's create that and then let's create a second video. Let's give it a category of um, another film. <laughs> And then let's come here, let's grab this one. So again, over on the right, advanced. And then on the left, in the sidebar, we then have distribution, video file links, and we're gonna grab this standard def one here, paste it in, remove this, job done. Now, inside Webflow, let's pop in a collection list and connect it to our videos collection. Now I'm gonna give each layer of this collection list a class name and I do this on all of my projects and I just set it to 100% I have had problems with this with obscure browsers before and this just is very safe to do it this way and then if I need to style these anymore I can then just add a combo class onto here so inside the item we want to put 
let's put say an embed and we then come back over to Emil's project and we're going to just copy all of this code inside his embed, paste it into ours and you'll see the red text here. We just need to remove this because this is the link to his CMS collection. So we're finishing on external forward slash and then up here the purple connection here we can add a field Vimeo slug and we're done. So we press save and have a look at that. We have got a video right there. So let's just preview it. Let's see, that seems to be working pretty nicely and it's pulling from the CMS. So what else can we do? So let's make this item, let's call it um, hero video item. And then let's call this list hero video grid. And let's set this to display horizontal. And then let's set this to be 50%. And what you'll see is nothing is happening. And that is because, oh, sorry, my doc's in the way. And that is because if we look inside this embed, its position is set to absolute. So in order to be able to manipulate how this looks, its parent needs to be set to relative. So its parent is currently the item. So if we set that item to relative, and let's give it a height of, let's say, 70 viewport height, we can now see, because we've set the list to display flex horizontal, it's stacking them side by side. And we can obviously do whatever we want with this. So we could maybe make this item 100%, and now we've got two like this. Or we can make it 100% like this and set this list to vertical and now we have two videos on top of each other maybe we want nice thin strips of video so maybe we can set them 50 50 like this perhaps we want to put that text inside so we can set the video item to be display flex and to center and then we can pull in a heading get the text from the name and you'll see that we cannot see this text Right. Again, this has got to do with the position absolute, so it's covering everything, and the Z index. So what we want to do is, if you run into this problem, we could actually pop in a div block, pop our heading inside there, and let's call this kind of like hero content maybe. And what we can do is we can set this position to relative, which then gives us access to the Z index, and we can just set that as 2 so we know it's definitely higher than the background video and we can set all of the text inside here to be white maybe and then we can also put in just some text we can pull this from the category and then we can just set this hero content to be centered text and there we go that's it now all your client needs to do is go into the editor and they can just add in a third video anything they like in here and they can just grab another one of their videos maybe this one distribution video file links standard def let's copy that let's remove everything after before external and create and now we have first video second video third video if you want to change the order of these you can of course come in here and you can add in a number field and maybe we'll go order number and let's save that and we could say first video is going to have an order number of one second video two and obviously the third video will have a number of three and then we come back into webflow let's grab our collection list in the settings here we can change the sort order to sort by order number smallest to largest and now we have first, second, third, and now this way the client can then reorder and reshuffle those videos till their heart's content. Maybe here we wanna make these items a bit smaller. So maybe we make them like this, and that's looking pretty good. Maybe you wanna go even smaller on here. Who knows? Maybe we wanna go big here, okay? And now, perfect. Let's preview as we go down fully responsive there you go it is as easy as that guys and it is all thanks to this guy so 
come to the showcase, clone the project, leave him some love down here. Big thank you to Emil. And that is how it works. So remember, you need a Vimeo Pro account. Just get your client to make it. If they need this situation, they can pay for it. That's fine. And then ask for more money. Thank you.